remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. In the meantime, physicians in the Niger Delta have warned against the negative health implications of rising levels of atmospheric pollution resulting from activities of illegal crude oil refining across communities in River State. Speaking to inside the Niger Delta from different locations in Niger's oil-rich region, they maintain that increasing cases of respiratory illnesses in River State are as a result of high prevalence of particulate matter otherwise referred to as sooth in the atmosphere. Correspondent Takana Mifuri tells us more. Located in River State are two oil refineries owned and operated by the federal government and several companies affiliated to Nigeria's hydrocarbon industry. In recent years, Port Harcourt, the River State capital, which is the largest concentration of commercial and industrial activities in the Niger Delta, has witnessed an unprecedented decline in its air quality due to constant releases of thick black clouds of smoke otherwise known as soot, into the atmosphere. In more recent years, air quality across communities in river state has further deteriorated with the proliferation of artisanal oil refineries operated by jobless youths trying to make ends meet. While processing refined petroleum products like kerosene, diesel and petrol, artisanal refiners burn out large volumes of associated gas releasing massive clouds of smoke that constantly envelop the atmosphere. Few months back, the atmosphere in Potakot was reportedly inundated with pollutant particles surpassing a diameter of 2.5 micrometers, which is roughly three times above the World Health Organization's annual air quality guideline value. Public health physician Dr. Chris Ekio and Dr. Fidelis Chukuma a Port based general medical practitioner attributes rising cases of respiratory illnesses to the prevalence of soot in the River State capital and its environs. If you go to the respiratory unit, you find more of respiratory diseases presented. And of course, before now, we used to have more of diarrhea and vomiting in children, but now we have more of constant cough, constant catarrh, and sneezing among children. Sometimes we have people just wake up and they say they are very weak and uh, they have headache. Your mind wants to start going for malaria and you keep treating for malaria, yet it's not malaria, only for it to describe some of the effects of the black suit. History has shown medically that younger and older population are likely to face more challenges. For instance, the child born in Port Harcourt area now, um, still developing the alveoli in the lungs and then developing the system, will definitely have to begin to meet with resistance and responses of the system to this external uh, uh, introduction into the lungs. So the child, that development pattern will already suffer some setback. So there will be some, some kind of effect in the in growing children. In spite of its negative externalities, artisanal crude oil refining in River State and elsewhere in the Niger Delta has continued to flourish, attracting daily new entrants into what is generally considered a highly lucrative economic space. However, Dr. Chukuma warns against the costly long-term negative effects of artisanal crude oil refining on human and environmental health. The soot contaminates even the water bodies. And once it contaminates the water bodies, what happens? The general ecosystem is being affected. Normally there should be a balance between the interaction between the living and non-living things. So once the natural ecosystem is affected, we are likely not going to have the right air to breathe. The immediate communities. I discovered lately that um, uh, they see it as a way of making money. Yes, it's a way of making money. But if only they know the effect it's going to have on their health, they'll find that the money they are going to make doesn't worth it. In response to a campaign launched by environmental rights activists to stop the suit in Port Harcourt, the River State government some five years ago set up a scientific work group to investigate the prevalence of suit in the city. In May 2019, the state government inaugurated a technical committee to implement recommendations of the scientific work group, which identified 12 sources of suit to include legal and illegal oil refining, and the setting ablaze of confiscated stolen crude by the military. 
in view of the unabating atmospheric pollution in River State, public health physician Dr. Chris Ekio wants the River State government to rise to the occasion. The government, particularly the governor of River State, needs to battle it with the with Nostra, needs to battle it with the environmental uh, agencies responsible for it, needs to battle it with, with the communities. And then the communities need to take responsibility and do things differently. While several lives have been lost to the deadly suit ravaging communities in River State, many others are on the line. Medical practitioners fear that the situation is gradually assuming the proportion of an epidemic that must be handled with utmost caution to avert a foreseeable crisis in the near future. Inside the Niger Delta, 